Welcome to reproduction and more specifically to animal reproduction, which of course means sexual reproduction because with sexual reproduction we need one of each gender. We need a male and we need a female. Reproduction can be split into asexual, which is when you only need one parent. In other words, yeast, bacteria, they um, reproduce by something called binary fission and you just get one and you split into two. So you don't even end up with a mum and a dad anymore. You just become two new individuals, a bit weird. And there's the sexual reproduction, which is what we're going to be looking at today. And sexual reproduction, where we need a male and a female, um, can take place in two different ways. It can take place outside the body, in other words, external sexual reproduction, or it can take place inside the body, internal reproduction. The kinds of animals that lay their eggs externally for external reproduction, the female comes along, for example, with a fish, and she might lay her eggs, and the male will come along and fertilize those eggs, well, those eggs then are make a yummy snack for predators and they're at risk. So the female has to compensate by producing hundreds, if not thousands of eggs. And in the hope that of any of those thousands that have been fertilized, that maybe one or two will survive. Usually with external fertilization, both parents don't stay around to bring up their offspring. So although there's this initial cost of having to produce all of these eggs, of which many won't survive, they don't have to hang around like we do as parents for at least 18 years, maybe even longer. <laughs> now clearly for internal fertilization, when you're, you've got a baby grown inside you, this takes a huge amount of effort. You're having to walk around with this, you're, you're feeding this baby, and there's a great deal of care that goes in to the nine months of gestation to ensure that baby is born to give it the best possible chance. <laughs> And clearly for this reason, we really wouldn't want to be carrying more than one of these around in our uterus or womb um, at any one time. It does happen, we have twins, we have triplets, quadruplets um, and so on, but it's rare, it's very rare. So what is fertilisation? Well, it does involve the sperm meeting the egg, but that's not it. <laughs> Sperm meeting the egg isn't quite it. The nucleus from the sperm and the nucleus from the egg have to fuse together. Remember that the sperm has got 23 chromosomes in it and the egg has got 23 chromosomes in it and only when they come together is fertilization taking place. And here we can see the sperm meets the egg, that's not fertilization. Here we can see that the nucleus from the sperm has entered the egg, that's not quite new, uh, fertilization. But however here where they fuse, that is fertilization. And that fertilized egg then where the two nuclei fuse together is then known as a zygote. <laughs> Some organisms even have internal fertilization and external development. If we consider the chicken for a moment, how does the chicken sperm penetrate the hard shell of its egg? Well, of course, this doesn't actually happen. If we open this egg up, the one thing that you may notice is that they have a membrane like this. And this is how the egg is presented when the sperm is trying to fertilize it. Only afterwards, whether it's been fertilized or not, as it passes further down the, the chicken's oviduct, if you like, 
does it then become calcified with this hard outer layer and actually if I look inside this dish you'll often find a little black thing that is the nucleus of the egg so I don't know if you can see the nucleus just there it's not actually where you think it will be it's that little black dot there just hiding underneath the yolk that is the nucleus of the egg cell and the yolk is literally just its food store for when it's um, developing if it was fertilized this chicken's egg as most chicken's eggs are not actually fertilized now construct a table to compare internal fertilization with external fertilization